Unlike most industrial technology that is designed for efficiency and effectiveness as its core purpose, at Apelix, our technology is designed to save lives. You know, you look around and you wonder why are people hanging off the side of buildings cleaning skyscrapers or putting up scaffolding and, and spray painting and putting humans in dangerous situations where they could fall or hurt themselves. Um, if we can replace those processes with an automated robotic system, um, that is a, a, a win for everyone involved. Our technology is, is interesting <laughs> to me. It's, it's funny because I think some people in the drone community see it as like going backwards because we've tethered the drone. We've, we've put an umbilical system that connects this this drone to a, a base station. I, I think that's a little counterintuitive to, to most people that are working on drones because they want these autonomous things that are that are going off and doing things for themselves. But the the applications that we're working in, it's more important for the drone to have shore power and to have the ability to, to to pump material. So a drone is really actually just a, a node of this, this greater system. So the Apelix platform consists of four main components. First we have the base station which provides power and materials for transfer, sensors and computers. Then we have the uh, umbilical cord and tether. Then we have the, the drone itself with uh, various material applicators and other attachments. And then finally we have the software which ties it all together. By having a, an array of, of sensors and apparatus on the drone and putting sensors in the cord and tether and, and then including that data stream in the ground base station, and we're able to very precisely locate the aerial robotic system and, and the items around it in 3D space. And by having this, this high degree of extremely accurate location-based information, it allows us to position the drone in very close proximity to a building or structure uh, and then we can apply materials such as paint or fungicides to that structure. One CEO who's been in the oil and gas industry for his entire career told me he's had to tell five mothers that their sons are never coming home again. Um, if we can put a system in place that can remove those workers from those dangerous situations so those conversations don't have to happen, that's a huge win and that's what Apelix is designed to do.